Hey, good morning, biscuits. How is your Sunday going? So one of my tips for if you have Wiley Crazy Kids is to keep a basket of their toys and books in each room. Just like a little basket that you can easily tidy up with speed whenever you need to um, just, you know, move around whatever is making a mess in your space. And that really helps me stay organized, I find. Hold on, biscuits. Sorry, my camera's being a weird. That really helps me just kind of get everything done. This chair has become a dumping ground and I don't know why for random trash. <laughs> but having that little basket in the house um, and I just have like a little container in pretty much every room where stuff goes. And then every once in a while we have a big organize and we figure out where what goes what um, and what needs to be moved. But it is really helpful. Apparently these are all chocolates that my kiddos have been <laughs> hiding in my big chair. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when I don't regularly tidy things. Yes, I am hiding the chocolate in my bathroom. I'm just going to eat it next time I have a shower. Takes that, uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but it does really help to have little spots for everything, I find. Um, because some people can be super organized. I know that, like, you know, I see the fridge organizers and the closet or where everything has its place. And I used to be like that pre-kids. Now I am not. Now I am more like triage of what can I do, what's going to work the best to clean everything up but without me having to spend a lot of time organizing because I quite simply do not have the time um and I'm setting up to film for Patreon and so I just want to like give everything a quick tidy this is totally sidetracked but these are an oximeter they take your oxygen they are so handy if you have asthma like yours truly has um it has been such a good thing to own to keep an eye when I'm having bad asthma attacks to gauge when, if I need to go to the emergency room. Um, I am on the hunt. I will be right back, Biscuits. I'm gonna grab a broom because apparently there's cookie crumbs here. I'm gonna be filming here. I think this is gonna be such a fun area to film in because this is my little studio slash bedroom space. Um, and here, I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'm embarrassed to show you this, Biscuits, but this is what my shoot student place looks like right now. It has just been, there's like a, a snack plate, a paper plate, toys, homeschool books. Yes, that's where I'm gonna shoot today, so <laughs> I'm gonna film my content. So let me go grab a broom, and you can just see, it's just a total heap. This is what happens when you have family spaces and you try to work from home, it is chaos. So let me go grab it. Okay, Biscuits, I got my broom, so. The way that things can get dirty in a family home is just amazing. I truly don't understand. Uh, it's <laughs> I had my birthday recently, yay! And I was chatting with my brother-in-law and he was talking about how some Instagrammers have fake houses for them to film in. And I was like, that is a dedication level of fakery that I just can't do. I'd rather biscuits show you what my actual house looks like my filming space that I then transform into what I hope is a really beautiful space um, for filming and creating things and having fun with that because I have so much fun filming but there's definitely prep time that goes into it um, to get everything ready it is so hot we are having a heat wave right now yeah, it is glorious, but oh my. Okay, that's better. I have to scrub down the stuff. I was just high-fiving you, but there you go. I put on some music, but I thought I'd keep chatting with you. Um, if you are a homeschooling parent, these are all toys that, again, go in that basket that I talked to you about. Okay. It's always time-consuming 
kids' tablets. Thank God whoever invented them. Um, I remember I started my publishing company, Biscuits. Um, oh boy. So I started my first little publishing, it was my first business really that I ran myself. Um, right before the crazy recession, so like 2007, 2008. And that was back when Kindle was coming out and everybody was like, this is crazy, nobody's gonna do all these digital books. And lo and behold, that has not been the case, it's been very popular. <laughs> And so it's fun to be turning these ebooks into the streaming series that I've been doing. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just go with whatever is here for now for this backdrop, even though it's not quite what I wanted. Um, okay. But I'm definitely gonna get a little sweeping in. Oh my goodness. No one can trash your home faster than the people you love most. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pillow it on the ground in case you can't tell. Yeah. One of my keys is I just sweep up the whole big pile of random stuff my kids leave on the floor and then I deal with it once it's swept into a pile. That is coming along. Okay, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna get some filming done. Um, hopefully we'll see how that goes. <laughs> you never know when you're trying to tidy how well anything's gonna go. Um, and I've been having so much fun with biscuits. I'm gonna put you here. Don't, I can't tell what you can see my biscuits. Can you see me? Let me try to turn my lens around. I have no idea, sorry, my camera has decided not to work even though it's a very new camera, it's only like a year old, but there you go. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I've been having great fun filming. I got my first full episode out of the romance series on my fans page, um, Rose Kelly PPV. Um, and I'm so excited about that because that is gonna be a big project for the rest of the year actually. We have a couple episodes that we filmed and then working on getting those edited and then uh, getting everything else done. I highly recommend wet wipes for stuff. It just does a quick, uh, easy clean. So let me show you. So this chair is the chair. I have a video about it. Um, I can't remember if it's on this channel or it might be on my main channel, Pulse and Feed. Um, I'm not sure. But I ended up upholsterizing it. Polsterizing? Upholstering? Upholstering! I don't know why that was such a hard word for me to come up with. It's too hot, you can tell. Um, with painter's drop cloth, which is like a great canvas material. Uh, at the very beginning of the pandemic, this was my pandemic project when they said we were going to stay home for like three weeks or whatever it was. And it's been really easy to clean. I've never finished the upholstery job, I will one day. <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I'll finish this and just, I never got around to it. But I really like the look of it. Underneath it is like this super 80s pattern fabric and that's just covered in nice. ice. Eventually I have to do piping and unfortunately the kids have kind of destroyed part of it. I'm gonna have to rip that off and reupholster it but that is why it's fun to just do a little side project. I've got this chair on like Facebook Marketplace and then I just have fun turning it into my studio space. Okay biscuits off I go for filming. I will see you over on Patreon. Um, <clears throat> so August isn't gonna have the lowest tier, the $10 a month tier. We're pausing that tier to focus on our three other tiers. And I've gotten a ton of requests to do the um, Best Biscuit, the very top tier, to bring that back. And I'm thinking about doing that for September and just doing a limited enrollment for that course on Patreon um, for the very, very top tier. Bringing it back just for the month, having special content access, and a special uh, group convo going on. So let me know, what do you think? Should I do that? I've been getting enough requests where I'm like, okay, I think I should. I paused it for what I thought would be a couple months and then I've just had so many other work projects on that, you know, that tier takes a really special investment of time 
It's an all naturalism tier. It covers all the self care, emotional, physical, mental. And so it really takes a lot of prep time and filming time. Um, but I've gotten so many requests. I think I gotta bring it back, at least for September. Yeah. And then November on Patreon is our request only month when the top requests go to the patrons that have been on for a couple months or more. And some of the patrons have been there for years. So they get the top request slots. And then if they're extra, it goes to the newer ones. So definitely it's a good time to sign up, I would say, if you want to get in for all these fun months that are gonna have all the fun content. <laughs> Cause it's self care time. Oh yeah. We're gonna do tons of August content. And then we're doing back to school for back to self care school, self care university for September. Um, and then we do Spooktober, and then we do an all request month, and then we do our vintage holidays, which is like super vintage pinup burlesque. It's so much fun. I love it. This is the season that really kicks off, I think, some of the most fun content. <laughs> okay, Biscuits, big giant internet hug. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming along for a little short video. I know this wasn't a super long cleaning video, but I just wanted to come on and chat and say hi. I've been doing a ton of deep cleans, and I just haven't been filming it because I've just been super busy and I've had little monkeys underfoot and you know whenever I try to bring out the camera they try to knock over the tripod so that's just the season of life that I am in currently <laughs> but I am making an effort to come back and be on this channel more because I love chatting with y'all and saying hello uh and it's just been keeping up with the main YouTube channel and Instagram and Patreon and the two fans pages that I run has been super time consuming so I'm gonna try to come back on and regularly be on here and say hi um, and do lots more cleaning because I've been doing a ton of cleaning. I've got a ton of great tips. I've been spending the summer testing out new things for cleaning and for homemaking and for or not organizing, but like, you know, keeping the la the lazy mama's guide to keeping your house tidy and vaguely organized and, you know, not a total pile of rubble. Um, and so I want to come on. I want to chat about some of those things because from body to home to floors to ceilings, you know, I've been working on all these things and I think it'd be fun to chat with you about. Okay. See you in the next video.